here as the revs are up and the gate will drop. Great start for the KTM rider on the inside. Can he hang on? It looks like it might be the Kawasaki rider of base flug. I'm totally guessing here, but he came firing out from the outside, the 36 machine. That's exactly who it is. And Evan Ferry in the hunt there as well. Balmer on the 29. There's Hayden Deegan on the 38. So all the boys up front and Hey, Sean, jump on in here. We can say hello because you probably sponsored every single human <laughs> on the racetrack right now as we welcome Sean Hillian from Cobra Motorcycle. Sean, welcome to the ranch for your, what, 58th time? I think so, yeah. Something like that. You probably helped out in some capacity. You can just name the, every single kid here. Uh, pretty much. Pretty much. I'd say probably three-quarters of these kids, not, not just in this moto, but the, but the last four fifty. Every one of even the vets. Really Mike fun. Brown, your first, not, man, he was a little before Maybe the little. 50s you, ha you guys had there. You guys were with us last night. You were able to uh, launch the new motorcycles, have the family dinner for all your Cobra athletes. How was yeah. that? Uh, it was crazy, as always. The kids, uh, kids go nuts, and we have fun. And this year was a lot of fun. We got to introduce the new e-moto going to have on the track uh, in a few weeks. Oh, very cool. So that bike's not quite ready for the showrooms, but it's probably being delivered as we speak? Yeah, it's, it's close. So we've got a, a, a key group of dealers that we're delivering the first batch to within the next few weeks, and then after that, it's uh, hopefully we can open the floodgates. Wow. Did you guys see that? Did you catch what he just did? Hey, Deegan came that roller and jumped yeah. all the way over the next braking button. Nobody's done that yet. So I think we're going to say that a lot as we follow along with our leaders. Deegan has come from the number five spot, already tracking down the Team Green Rider of uh, Preston Base Fluke. Wow, that was uh, very impressive. We'll, we'll catch back up to what that what what I just saw. I've not seen anyone do that. Hey, Deegan, wasting no time there, Sean. I think yeah, I think he wants a little redemption for the bad luck he had. Bingo. Yep. We spoke we spoke about that. Hayden had to pull off the track. He ran in. Looked like he hit uh, Evan Ferry, blew out the rear wheel, so he's ready to reintroduce himself to the ranch in a big way here as we welcome Sean Hillian from Cobra Motorcycles. And you get the uh, the benefit of meeting these families as they first enter our sport. They're new, they're green, they haven't spent all of their life savings yet, and before you're done with them, you've gotten a little bit of their money as they move on to the bigger bikes. Yeah, we got a little bit of money, but more importantly, uh, great you know, great relationships, great memories. Sure. It's so much fun watching the kids at the pro level now that you know that we nurtured the whole way up, and uh, and and our recent graduates, you know, the kids that are just hopping on to 85s, 125s, 250s. We love catching up with the families when we come here, and even when we go to a pro event. And they're they're pure. I'm going to say it. They're it's pure. It's untainted at that point. You know what I mean? They're just here for the love. By the time they're in the B class, they have aspirations of becoming pro. Things have gotten serious. So it is really fun for you guys, I'm sure, to enjoy them at that stage of their career. Yeah, we, we do. We work hard to keep the fun in it, although it's, you know, it's, it's a business for us, right? And, sure. And these little athletes are, are incredible. So. Wow, little problem there for Hayden Deegan, the 41 of Dax Bennett. Okay. Old buddies there, North Carolina uh, neighbors now, I believe. They've got some property that's not too far away from each other. And the battling has just begun here. It's base fluke, Deegan. Bennett Bomber, Oris Collett, Bernard Pascal, and Mark Finez. That is your top ten, but I'm telling you, this is there's going to be a lot of movement up front here, and Base Flute better have his boxing gloves on here. He's going to fight these two guys off. Watch this right here. Hayden was airing that out last time, jumped all the way over that next roller from that roller. I've not seen anybody tr even try that. Right? He the inside that time. Yeah, he, he, he would have landed on the guy for sure. That's the difference between him and me. He gets the channel. I'm just not even seeing that. He's tuned into a different TV show for sure. So base flug got his hands full with Dax Bennett on the 41, and the sand just rolled forward over Dax Bennett there. And here comes Bennett. Not sure. Whoa, a little sideways for Bennett. He's getting pressure. He wants to go forward. He's getting pressure from Hayden Deegan behind him. Yeah, he knows he needs to make a move. He's got to get, get out front. Yeah, and you want to escape. Oh, there's a problem. Oh. There's a mistake. A lot of mistakes by all these guys. And that will translate. Oh, oh well, he's got go. whiplash after that. Good Lord. Got it right back. I mean, every si all three of those kids have made a, a big, huge, critical mistake, and the running order is exactly the same. They've made mistakes and were able to capitalize and go forward, go back. I mean, this is what A.J. Catanzaro talked about yesterday. They're kind of overriding the track. The, the yeah. hormones are wide open. They're really pushing right now. And Hayden Deegan is pushing for the lead. And base flug is still in the lead. Like, if you were to, I don't even know, I couldn't even write down what has happened for him to even stay in that position. That's a bobblehead you normally see in the 50 junior class. That was. Bennick's whiplash there coming out of the mechanics area. He's going to need a massage after that one. <laughs> so, Sean, what else you guys got up your sleeves there? You've uh, you rolled out the 65 a few years back. The e bikes are happening now. You got a, yeah. a, a Cobra 500 in the works or anything else you want to <laughs> yeah. talk about? Oh, that'd be fun. 
Uh, well, you know, the, the new 65 really is all brand new. That we introduced that here last year, and then the E-Moto this year. The E-Moto is a really interesting bike. It's got a got a lot of technology in it that's gonna gonna I think take that class to the next level. It has a swappable battery. You, oh. can, you can swap the battery in less time than it takes to fill a gas tank of gas. So you gotta like that. It's boom boom. There yeah, it is. Back, back and active. There's that roller that, that Hayden Deegan has turned into a double. That's reminiscent of Ricky Carmichael at high point. He switches the line. Yep. Exactly what happened. And Got it. just simple as that. That was an there easy pass goes. there for Hayden Deegan. Hayden Deegan's clearly hit that reset button from yesterday. I know he's not happy about that. I tell you what, Dad posted a video. Of, it was a racer TV footage. We couldn't quite see it on camera, but seeing it on social media, you could see that rear wheel absolutely mangled after yep. he got tied up with Evan Ferry yesterday. Um, so, yeah, hey, hit the reset button. Let's come out here today in uh, Schoolboy 2 and, and <laughs> do this. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how you do it, just short memory. Yeah. Let that all go, and let's go racing. The what have you done for me lately? Right? Win that moto. That's exactly what he's yeah. doing. Evan Ferry was up towards the front. Now he finds himself in eighth. So Ferry having some opening moto jitters there. See if he can get things back together. Base Fluke trying to latch on to Hayden Deegan, though, doing a good job as they'll jump through these Ten Commandments. Man, look at that. Just sideways there. Just uh, He did not want to go to that outside line. He hit, jumped a hard 90, went over nine ruts there. There is the 75. More problems there for Evan Ferry. I say that. I'm not being disrespectful. It's just this track is so brutal. It's hard to look smooth and clean. That's just kind of how you have to ride this thing. Yeah, the lines in that corner, ha half of them intersected each other. It's just it's brutal. It is. You are right. As we follow along on top of Evan Ferry. And the leaders to your left there. And we will catch back up. There's Ferry, yellow plates, blue bike. Jumps off the rock star onto the Yamaha ride, the NSA Yamaha ride. Hey, Megawatt made a good point. Sean, you said, hey, we can change battery in that thing. Anybody can faster than you're changing fuel yeah. or refueling. How's that work, man? We think of DeWalt battery on the battery drill. How's this work, man? It, yeah, what's it, what, it's, what it's, makes it so fast? Yeah, it's not a button. You, ha you know, these are these are race bikes, right? Yeah. But but, uh, but you know, if you had a, uh, a little a little a little uh, gun on you, you yeah, two bolts, slide it out, re redo zip, zip. the redo the uh, connector, put it back in, less than a minute. Cool. Oh, that's impressive. We are yeah. Yeah, and then you can go ride again. So yeah. you can charge the battery on the bike, off the bike. What is the charging time on those things? So that so that that's kind of an interesting thing. We've got different charging times depending on how you want your battery to perform. If you just need to get back out there, you can put put the put the you know put it all to it, uh, put all the amps to it, and get get the full battery charge in about 50 minutes. Um, and that's the quick charge. It doesn't necessarily charge it perfectly, so you can do a slow charge. Uh, like at home at night, yeah. and have have a better battery, have a better power supply when so, you're done. So you're telling me, off-road guy here, GNCC, they're coming. Yeah, they're, they're coming. They're coming. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. they can hold up for that that amount of time. Well, with with a change, stop. With right? Stop, yeah, sure. but I mean, we got guys with the you know the quick fills, That's so yep. same thing. Yep. No, I same think thing, the, but different. <laughs> I think the micro tracks at GNCCs with the yeah. battery swap could could be awesome. I love that. Love to hear that. Well, we are watching the battle as we have Sean Hillian from Cobra Motorcycles. We're talking about e-bikes. It's like sticking your finger in a light socket right now. Watching this race as Binnick and Base Fluke slugging it out. And Deacon trying to run away from them, not doing it, though. And if that tells you how fast our pro sports were going, look at this. They were turning 154s. Deegan and these guys with a 156, the quickest that Deegan was able to put down. But, of course, he has been battling and trying to run crazy lines and Whatever. We'll see what Deegan can do as this race kind of comes to him now. Lap number four in the books. That's about where we saw our fastest laps from Ryder Francisco when he was able to sync together all of his hot lines. Mark Finesse at 99 KTM back here sitting in the sixth spot right now. A little faster. He's all over the uh, rear fender of Trevor Collip last time around. Keep our eyes out for him. See if he's not able to move up in at least the five position. And there's a look at your top three there. Deegan just sets it into the left-hander. Base flew on the green. Kawasaki Bennick on that orange KTM. They had a great battle there going through the Ten Commandments. Bennick actually flew off the racetrack. So now you're saying you can just buy you an extra battery or two and yeah. really just increase your day and just have a lot of fun on one of those bikes. You can buy an extra battery, you know, just have them ready, all ready to charge, all ready to go. 
Uh, you could, we've got a charging stand that, that you can set the bike on, plug it in, and charge. charge oh, wow, while like, it's a, like a cell phone, just boom, just throw it yep, on the stand. And absolutely. So you can, you can have the stand pre charged when you come to the track. You can have a couple extra batteries. And there you now you're go. talking. You're set to go. So a stand that's, awesome. that's basically a big battery, you throw it on there, it takes the life out of that stand, yep. puts it back into your bike, a couple yep. of batteries onto the side. Now you're, you're, now you're cooking. And you can also take 110 power off of it. So if you need, you know, charge something, wow. do something else. Cell phones. Absolutely. You can, you can do anything. Jeez. There we are again, just like last lap, and Bennick will stick the pass on base flu. Man, he had it almost done and went off the track one lap previous, and now Bennick has cleared base flu. See if he can oh, go man. after Hayden Diggins. Hey, Diggins right there. It's hey. only two seconds. Daxton Bennick said, I'm checking out. I'm going after Danger Boy. Well, here's your chance. That's right. Hayden says, come and get it. <laughs> I love it. That, those kids are just, they don't care. They'll race anybody, anytime. That's right. 12 to 17, all the energy in the world, man. You better believe it. <laughs> there is a look at how nice and smooth and easy to ride this racetrack is. Just easy to easy here. Nothing to it, right? <laughs> Benick has picked up on that line, hucking that little yeah. single. Yep. yep. That's what a real pro rider can do. Jason, you see what they're doing with that roller? It's just like high point now. That ginormous roller, they're jumping way over to the tree almost. Making a double out of that. That is not normal. <laughs> that is not normal at all. Yes. Nope, Deegan was doing it. Bennick has picked up on that. And I guarantee everybody watching home was getting, they're getting text. Oh, you got to do this now, Cole Martinez in the bet class. You got to jump that double. <laughs> the Annie has been upped. And, it, of course, it's Hayden Deegan being creative out there on the racetrack. Hayden Deegan turning a 158-151. Daxton Bennick in that two spot. A little bit faster right there, still about three seconds back. He turns a 157.697 after six laps of racing. Yeah, and apples to orange. I know we were talking about the faster lap times by the pro riders. Understand that was 25 minutes of right. pro riders pounding this track. So you should be a tad bit slower sure. coming right after that race for sure. As we watch Dax Bennett trying to string together some good lines here. So is everything made in America, some of that stuff made overseas and then brought here what, in terms of Cobra motorcycles? Yeah, we, we make a lot in the USA. Uh, there's a few things that come from overseas. You just can't get here, right? Sure. I mean, you can't, there's no carburetor manufacturing in the U.S. So we have to go to Bakuni or Delorto, you know, that's Japan sure. or Italy. Um, but we're, we're more made in the USA than a Harley or a Ford F-150. It's pretty amazing. We, we do everything inside our plant. We, we do everything from bend and weld tubes to machine engine cases to uh, all the R&D and everything else that goes behind it. You like we're to hear that. Definitely made here. That is cool. Sean Hillian join, joining us in the booth here, talking about the new Cobra motorcycles, the new e-bikes, all the different. Man, I'm, I'm fascinated to see this charging stand, the extra batteries. I can charge my phone. Don't even want to ride. I just charge pod. my phone. Coffee yeah. pot. Coffee, anything. We need Fans. one up here. Big screen TV. You yeah, can do it all. Bring one of those stands up here, and we'll just charge all of our apparatuses mm -hmm. here. Sit Rodney down on it. Maybe it'll jumpstart his heart whenever he oh, flatlines no. with us every yeah. now and again. Rodney has died three times in this tower this oh, week. Jesus. Okay. Uh, whoop, yep, let's there. charge you up. Pyaw, just hit him with those. Shocking back in there. Yeah. And Run he's those. ready to go. And I'm back here, boy. Uh, <laughs> little juice here from the good folks at Cobra <laughs> making me. Bringing me back to life here, boys. The, if, uh, if you want to see any of that cool stuff, we I got we got a we got a the Cobra Pit has uh, we got several e bikes down there. We got a charging stand. We've got we're gonna at, at the intermission. Inter today, I was gonna ask about intermission. Yeah, yeah. intermission today. We got just a demo lap. We've got uh, one of our bringing cool, Davey Millsaps back to ride it again He's here. Try. He's Put a lap try. down. <laughs> we had, you know as a as a kind of a. As a commemorative thing, actually, last night we introduced the bike with with Ryder D's number on it. You know, he was our very youngest. Cool. He was our youngest champion, right? He's very Five cool. Five years yeah. old. Yes. And uh, and some of the folks had no idea, you know, that 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 big kid that was sitting over there uh, he came to dinner. <laughs> that man looked looked like that little tiny. Oh, dude that, that cute I had little kid of. back yeah, in the day. Yeah. 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 So, I remember when Ryder hit the scene, like in the PW class. We we're like, this kid is about 30 minutes old. And he just yeah. won a title. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> he was a newborn. So, but yeah, he's he's a uh, family's fun family, and, and we still, you know, still we're we're going to be big fans of his for sure. Sure. Again, it's always cool to see uh, all the former riders that have come through the ranks. That I mean, anybody from Davey Millsaps and on. What well, Davey, one of your and Alessi, some of your early guys. I mean Sexton and Tomac. You know? All of them. I mean, yeah. 
Forkner, and I, there's just a whole group of guys right now yeah. in the pro ranks that are just really fun to watch and, and uh, remember what they were like when they were on little bikes. So. Sure. On the big bikes now, 1.2 seconds. Dax Bennett, Hayden Deegan right in front of. There's Dax. There is Hayden. So, guys, this one is far from over. He has not run away from this. I think the lead has grown to about two seconds and some change. So Hayden Deegan now working his way through lappers, answering all his YouTube fans' questions as he's riding. He is mic'd up. He is live broadcasting. Never before from <laughs> the social media here. He probably brought 10,000 people with him to watch the race here. <laughs> the guy's got such a draw. He really does, man. They oh, do no a great doubt. job with They're his all. presence on social media. They're all pitted right behind him. Yeah, the, the, the fan club is here in effect. Right in front of us now flies past the 38, the Yamaha ride. Tighten it up. Yeah, it definitely is. Big it was 1.9 seconds now. And we are eight laps in. Two lap board is out. So a lot of drama in these pro sport motos. And again here in this schoolboy 2, 12 to 17, it's their first moto in this class, anyway, we're still in our first set of yeah. motos, a three-moto format here at Loretta Lynch. For those of you keeping score at home, that's a 6-4-3 double play there put out for the 38 of Hayden Deegan. And Bennick is locked in. That's Bennick right behind him. Yes. Yeah, Thank Hayden, you for Hayden Deegan. Confirming that. Uh, <laughs> he did pick it up a little bit. Though. He, it's right less than that. two seconds now. It's at yeah. 1.9. We're, we're below that. Yeah, he was right in that two-minute mark uh, a couple laps ago. Uh, consistently, and now I think feeling a little bit of that pressure from Daxton Vinnick, and so Hayden Deegan says, all right, time to go back time to work. To dig deep. Dig deep. Let's put some separation. Of course, lap traffic playing a factor, but right now they got a second before they get back into that. Two seconds now, it looks like, between Hayden Deegan and Dax Bennett. Wow, Mark Finesse has come from so far back. He is third now. Yeah. Mark Finesse was in the pits on lap two, <laughs> basically. I didn't see him. He was about 13th, and now the kid is all the way to third. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That is a great. So the whole shot went to base fluke, who is still, what, where is he? He's back, back and, and forth. forth. Finesse has yeah. got him. So here's the lap riders. Hayden Deegan. Blue flags leader, are out leader, everywhere. Leader. <laughs> what does that blue flag mean? There goes Bennick up and over the big camel jump there. Just send it over this thing, land flat on the nice, comfortable sand there. White flag should come out this go around. Last turn, that's where you will find the 38 of Hayden Deegan. Oh, and a swarm of lap traffic right they now. Are, they are everywhere. Hey, there it is. You know, Dax and Bennick's like, man, come Just on, me a get bit. me through this. So up and over the tunnel jump, the 38 past the billboards, spotting where they're going to put his photo up there at some point in his career, perhaps. One more time through that turn, looks over at the mechanic. No, he does not. He knows what he's doing. And we'll see if Hayden Deegan can hold on and keep Dax Bennett behind him. It was 2.9 seconds when they came across the stripe. And Hayden Deegan ready to put his stamp on Moto 1 here. Up schoolboy 2, 12, 17, into the Ten Commandments. Triple, triple again, double. Just like that. That easy, Sean, right? I could do that, I think. Absolutely. On one of those e-bike Cobras for sure. I know what I couldn't do on an e-bike is uh, how many laps was the last moto? 17, Thir 18? 13. 13. Yeah. Our pro sport. Yeah, that's crazy. I would not want to do 13 laps, period. The bike wouldn't have enough battery, and I definitely wouldn't have enough battery. The battery, yep. Both batteries. Hayden Deegan's got the juice to cut it loose. It looks like he's going to hang on here. He's got about a minute's worth of work. A little short there. Looks over his shoulder. Maybe he can take a breath here at some point. Way wide in that big sandy beach turn. I think he's going to do it, boys. I think he's got this yeah. thing. Yeah, he's got her dialed now. Leader, yeah. leader, leader. Again. <laughs> yeah, one more time through, and Hayden Deegan can look over his shoulder and finally relax. It took every bit of 10 laps to finally be able to do that. He had to battle and fight off Dax Bennick, and he is going to do it. One more turn to go here, Mikey Wayans. Yeah, congrats, Hayden Deegan, man, getting it done. Sneaks right there in front of another lapper. Didn't seem to affect him any, able to, uh, had a little bit of pressure from Daxon Bennett. Not a lot of it, but a little bit, you know. Got but it down. Hangs to, on, gets the checkers. 
He will nail down that first photo win, a little bit of redemption for yesterday when the wheel blows out. Without a doubt. And Dax Fennick's going to feel good about this. Mark Finesse is going to feel good about it as well. Sean Hillian, thank you for stopping yes, Sean, by. Thank you. From Cobra Motorcycles, go by and see them. Uh, there's 10,000 customers out here that could stop by and see where you guys are located. Absolutely, yeah. Mike, yeah, thank you guys. Yeah. Always yeah. a pleasure, Last Sean. Last night was a blast, man. It was good. Same spot. You can find them down there. There is the finishing order here on Racer TV. It's Deegan, Finnick, Finez, Base Fluke, Bomber, Call-Up, Bernard, Turner, Ferry, and Driscoll. That's your top ten. Moto 1 done 